Are you all right? Oh, I see pain in my chest. This man's heart has just stopped. He is three minutes from death. A heart attack, which results in the heart ceasing to beat, is something which can happen to anyone, anywhere, at any time. The heart and lungs provide a life support system by supplying oxygen to the brain and body. Blood returns to the right side of the heart with the oxygen removed from it. From there, the blood is pumped through the lungs where oxygen is taken up and then returns to the left side of the heart where it's pumped out to the brain and body. If the heart stops pumping, then no blood or oxygen is delivered to the brain. The brain cells will die within three minutes. And even if the heart is restarted after this time, the brain will be permanently damaged. Trained assistance has not arrived in time to help this man. What can you do in this situation? Heart-lung resuscitation is the answer, remembering that it must be started within three minutes if the victim is to survive as a normal human being. If you know what to look for and what to do, then the victim has a good chance of recovery. This man knows the victim is unconscious. First, he checks signs of breathing they're absent. Now the head is rolled to one side and food particles, false teeth or other objects likely to obstruct the airway are removed. The next and most important action is lifting up the chin and positioning the head. He now checks the pulse by feeling the carotid artery. There is none. Now all is ready to start mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. This is done by positioning the chin, then putting your mouth to the victim's mouth very tightly so that air does not leak out. The nostrils should be closed with the other hand. You then breathe out and the air from your lungs flows into the victim's. Then when you remove your mouth, it flows out of the victim's lungs. Watch the victim's chest for rise and fall to ensure that your method is working. While one man is working on mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, another is applying external cardiac massage. The heel of one hand is placed on the lower end of the breastbone with the other hand above it. Then the arms are straightened slightly, depressing the breastbone about one to one and a half inches. The force used will depend on the size of the victim. This cycle should be repeated once every second and it's important not to exceed this rate. This action compresses the heart between the breastbone and the backbone, forcing blood into the arteries. If the rate is greater than once every second, it's inadequate for the heart to fill between the compressions, and so no blood is pumped. With two people working on the victim, 
the ratio is one breath to five compressions each cycle. There is also a technique if only one person is working on the victim. This is two breaths followed by 15 pumps in each cycle. These methods of resuscitation are standard and can be used in cases of electrocution, drowning or a blocked airway. It's important that you know what to do in a case like this. If you can keep the victim alive, expert help is closer than you think. So let's recapitulate. One, check if the victim is unconscious. Two, check for signs of breathing. Three, clear the airway, then lift the chin and position the head. Four, check the pulse on the carotid artery. And five, start mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation and external cardiac massage and continue until expert help arrives.